Watford very keen to encourage youth, but if those two lads are players of the future, potentially, today's centre-forward is only 18. England Youth International Jimmy Gilligan has that position, while Jerry Armstrong and Ross Jenkins are both out injured. Gilligan made his first division debut last week, and last season he was a member of the Watford team which won the FA Youth Cup, as was today's substitute, David Johnson, who is also still 18. Watford, unbeaten at home since last January, are unchanged. Those Brighton supporters, well aware their team had the worst away record in the first division, and today they've made three changes. The players who come in are Giles Still at number four, Jimmy Case back after injury at number seven, and Neil Smiley at number 11. Those out are Tony Grealish, who's injured, top scorer Jerry Ryan, who drops to substitute, and Gordon Smith. But it's quite a weekend for Neil McNabb, who makes his 100th league appearance for Brighton, with his wife expecting their third child at any time. The referee this afternoon is Alan Seville from Birmingham, and it's Watford in the yellow shirts, playing from left to right, who start the match. Brighton normally play with Michael Robinson and Peter Ward, the two forwards and others coming from midfield. That's the way it seems to have started. Smiley on the right for the moment. Jimmy Case here in midfield. Brighton haven't won away since last March when they had a victory at Anfield. Indeed, they've only taken three away points out of the last possible 45. There's the captain. It's a cool, dry afternoon at Watford, although the rain we've had earlier in the week is going to cause the pitch to cut up, I fancy. Gilligan as referee Alan Seville. That's Stevens getting the throw off Gilligan. Gary Stevens, a member of the England under-21 squad. Miss it. Turn nicely past Gatting. Is it a penalty? It is. Gatting on Blissett. Brighton looking at the referee, although nobody has gone across to protest because he got out the way very fast at Alan Seville, having pointed to the spot. Blissett himself is the penalty taker. The goalkeeper is Graham Mosley. to Watford and the top goal scorer gets his 11th of the season well Blissett struck back with plenty of confidence and gave Mosley no chance and the scoreboard registers the first excitement of the afternoon and it came in the second minute Something for the Watford director's box to enthuse over. Graham Taylor, the manager. Elton John in the hat, and next to him, Bertie Mee. Blissett. Barnes. Played by Barnes. Nice piece of skill. And the ball. Oh, Les Taylor! coming in on the near post. John Barnes turning there and getting the ball back from right on the goal line. That was McNabb. And that was Rostrum. Now still. Jacket. Barnes. Climbing by Gatting on Blissett, free kick. Ian Bolton has been uh, known to try a shot even from this distance for Watford. Those players there may well be acting as some kind of decoy for him. chips the ball in, it was planned, Sims! Well, decoy, I think, was the right word, because Brighton was supposed to think that Bolton was going to shoot. 
the ball was eventually chipped into space for Steve Sims, the big number five, who timed his run on the blind side of the defence. Ian Bolton, who's been very strong in the tackle in the opening stages here. We'll get a word here now from referee Alan Seville. In short for Peter Ward, away by Taylor. Catting. Foster forward. Oh, volleyed back for an offside flag to stop play. Sammy Nelson is the player in need of attention. It's not the first time Sammy's been cut in his varied career. And he's going to carry on, it would seem, certainly for the time being. Jerry Ryan there was the substitute uh, preparing in case. Driven forward by Bolton. And a bad header by Foster and then put back by Gatting. They're appealing for an offside, doesn't come. Flick on was by Michael Robinson to Smiley. Promising run by Smiley. Gilligan was penalised for using the arms on Gatting. Smiley. Foul by Jacket. First chance Foster's had to go forward for Brighton here. Away by Rice. Driven in by Case, dummy by Robinson, header out by Gilligan, still for Brighton. McNabb. And Gilligan back to block. McNabb again. Smiley got a half header on that, Rostron doing enough just to block it. Although I think the Watford player most involved there was Gilligan doing some defending in his own penalty area. He's got hurt. He came across to challenge Neil McNabb to prevent, or to uh, try and prevent the cross from coming in. And now 18-year-old Jimmy Gilligan brings his manager out of the director's box, down to the pitch. Billy <laughs> Hales has applied the treatment to Jimmy Gilligan. That happened, uh, the stoppage, while the ball was in play, so the referee will drop the ball to restart. Forward by Case, and back by Sims. And away we go again with the long kick from the Watford goalkeeper, and again the Brighton offside hasn't worked. Feels like a boomerang at the moment. Robinson trying to tuck it inside for still to shoot. Early on here, Brighton's uh, best runs from midfield have come from Giles Still. Encouraged to support the two strikers by running from deeper. Got a powerful shot in there. Oh, one by Gilligan. That was a good flick, and Blissett almost got past Gatting. Callahan. Fine effort, he's hit the bar. Can Blissett put the rebound in? Oh, didn't come back for him. Well, Nigel Callahan, the player holding his head, he struck that beautifully. Mosley, just a little bit off his line, it went over him, it crashed against the bar, and Blissett was hoping it would come down on his side, but it didn't.
foul by Ward on Bolton. Callahan. Jerry Armstrong there, the broken leg victim. Callahan. Jerry, who'll be out for at least two months after breaking his leg in a reserve game. Oh, Ian Bolton still well forward. He's got three players coming in on a possible cross here. And one of them was Gilligan. It was blocked by Foster. That was a fine block by the centre half. That was Nelson. Then it was Robinson. And then Sims. It. And a whistle for half time with Watford leading by a single goal. Scored in the second minute from the penalty spot by Luther Blissett after he himself had been fouled. Jimmy Gilligan has gone off at half time. He's gone to hospital with an ankle injury which is badly bruised, definitely. They're hoping there's no break, but his replacement as substitute for Watford is 18 year old David Johnson who came on in the Milk Cup recently at Nottingham Forest, made his league debut in the second division in the last match of last season as a substitute, but technically this is his first appearance in Division 1. He's number 12, Barnes number 11, may push in a little bit because Johnson, when I saw him in the youth team last season, seemed to me to be an outside left. So Watford having really bad luck with centre forwards, that's the third one to get injured after Armstrong and Jenkins. And here's Peter Ward from a flick by Robinson. Smiley. There's Robinson. Still coming to the near post. Might have gone across, Case drives one. It might have run across to Ward earlier, but it came back to Case. And Brighton, who've lost six of their seven away matches this season in the first division, the only point they picked up was at Everton in a 2-2 draw. Brighton badly want to do something about that record in the second half here. There's an invitation to Brighton, really, here, to be a bit more ambitious, I think. After all, Watford have not capitalised on their lead. They haven't made that many chances, and Brighton must feel, surely, that if they were to risk an extra man forward, they could salvage something from the match. Stevens with the header out. Callahan turns it in. That was a good header away from Sammy Nelson. Foster was up with Sims. And Callahan, and all well cleared by Gatting from Blissett. And Mosley caught that well. That's the second time he's dealt admirably with a corner with so many players coming in on him. We're ten minutes now into the second half, still 1-0. Case. McNabb trying to get still away. Good jink from still and Sherwood. Well, we had an incident at Watford on the opening day of the season where the Everton goalkeeper was deemed to have carried the ball over his line. Sherwood, to be careful there. Here's Barnes. Here's Kenny Jackett. Placed it. Wow. Good stop 
by Mosley, who's made a couple of useful saves. Away by Foster, only as far as Callahan. Oh, and a chance there, turned in by Barnes. Turned in by John Barnes. Brighton lost their bearings in defence. As Callahan returned the ball into the penalty area to the far post, it came back and fell perfectly for John Barnes, who scored the winner here last week against Stoke and now makes it 2 0 after 64 minutes. So, after a spell in which Brighton, for 10 minutes or so, had dominated things and had two chances of their own, they now fall 2 0 behind. Smiley and Ward still is in there it's away poorly by Bolton McNabb didn't collect or rather I should say Case didn't collect he might now he'll get a free kick a little bit of squaring up there too involving Jimmy Case So Gatting with Foster well forward, Robinson closing in, away by Johnson. And if Blissett could get... Oh, he won't, because uh, Nelson came through well. Oof, I say, what a collision. And what put it away with three extra men? Callahan's got three in the centre. And well played, Stevens. How he marked all three of them, I don't know, but he did. Now it's Jacket with the drive. Well, there you are, there was one Brighton defender and three Watford forwards and the defender won. So the evening gathering in in Hertfordshire. Headlights piercing the gloom. And here's Johnson. Barnes. And Blissett saw what was going to happen there. But he fell over as he tried to turn the ball in the net. It was Giles Still who got caught with the back pass. And Blissett read it perfectly. Got it round the goalkeeper and then lost his footing. Linesman is flagging for a free kick. Pushing. Well, I'm not so sure the linesman flagged the same way as the referee is pointing, but uh, it's been given against Sims to Brighton in Robinson's favour. But they want to make a substitution, Brighton, anyway, and Giles still is going off. And being replaced by the top scorer this season, Jerry Ryan, although he's only got three. Foster with the flick on, Gatting is hovering in there. McNabb is arriving now against Rice. Well, they haven't seen Watford lose here at Vicarage Road since Newcastle won here last January, so... Uh, They'll be pretty pleased in that director's box with the way things are going. Let's come on to Johnson. In it goes to Blissett, who was held a bit, I fancied, by Foster. And that's a foul anyway, is it right on the edge? And the referee is saying, penalty again. Well, Foster appeared to have fouled Blissett first, but it was Case on Barnes, I think. But the referee actually penalised right on the edge. It must have been almost on the line, but he pointed straight to the spot. I wonder if he'll put it the same side or whether he'll try Mosley's left. Always a war of nerves between kicker and goalkeeper when a second penalty occurs in the same game. Listen with his familiar turn. Oh, and he found the same corner, and Mosley well beaten, although he went the right way. And it's 3-0 to Watford, and Blissett has two. So Luther Blissett, to the disappointment of Steve Foster, takes his total for the season to 12. Here's Bolton.
good turn by John Barnes and Foster. And that's at least a booking. Was it a goal-scoring opportunity? Referee Alan Seville has booked Steve Foster. It was, again, rather like Glenn Hoddle's on uh, Popple last week, only halfway at the most inside the half. Many other things could have happened if Barnes had got away. So a booking for Brighton's Foster and a free kick to Watford. Ian Bolton sizing up the possibilities here. And drives one which was touched by Blissett. Here's Callahan. Rice. And Stevens, I think they were hoping for handball there, the fans, for a third penalty. Here's Bolton. Oh, well played. Callahan on the right, drove it. Oh, away by Foster. And the crowd fully roused now. Here's Barnes. And as they push forward from midfield, they're onside. Les Taylor. Lovely little log, and it's there for number four. Brighton's offside game caught out. And Les Taylor has scored for Watford in the 83rd minute and how well he took it, given the chance. It's his fourth of the season, and he'll feel it makes up for the one that was chalked off when we were last here against Coventry. Brighton had pushed out, but Taylor was absolutely clear, and as Mosley came, he lofted the ball over him. And what about this away form of Brighton now? They lost 5-0 at West Brom, 5-0 at Luton, 4-0 at Forest, 3-0 at Stoke, and they're 4-0 down again here today. That's 27 goals conceded in eight matches, or nearly eight matches, away from home in the first division this season. This is Ryan. His case. Stevens. Oh, and Smiley's in here. And driven by Ryan, the substitute, who gets one back for Brighton. Just a minute from the end. Scant consolation, perhaps, but it is his fourth goal of the season. He is the top scorer. And Brighton scoring only the fourth goal to go in against Watford here at Vicarage Road in the league this season. But it hasn't made much difference to the way the points are going. Here's Johnson. Barnes to Taylor. Callahan is out on the right. Johnson trying to make it. And he has. And Blissett with the header. Looking for his second hat trick of the season. taken their total of goals at Vicarage Road alone this season in the first division to 22. David Johnson who came on in the second half after they'd lost Gilligan and even with the change Watford were able to readjust and eventually get the better of a disappointing Brighton side quite handsomely. Two goals both penalties for Luther Blissett their top scorer. One for John Barnes number 11 there and the fourth Beautifully taken by Les Taylor. Brighton got one back through Jerry Ryan, but their away form now must be the cause of serious concern.